Assalamu alaikum everyone this is Dr. Abdul Rafi here and I am currently appointed as a house officer in the department of oral diagnosis in Sin Institute of Oral Health Sciences that is a part of Jinnah Sin Medical University and today I will be presenting a clinical case on oral submucous fibrosis so let's get right into it So before getting into the clinical case, I would like to share a little introduction about what is oral submucous fibrosis. Basically, it is a chronic disease which may affect any part of your oral mucosa as well as it can extend into pharynx and esophagus as well. It is accompanied by increasing stiffening of the oral mucosa that is associated with progressive underlying fibrosis that will lead to limited mouth opening as well as to binding down of the tongue. So moving on to the clinical case. This was the clinical case. A 28 year old male patient came to the OPD with the presenting complaint of overgrowth on one of his lower anterior teeth that was tooth number 42 upon history taking it was found that he was a chronic consumer of beetle nuts and tobacco and this was his habits history upon further extra oral examination it was found that he had limited mouth opening that was 20 millimeters normal or average mouth opening ranges from 35 to 45 millimeters other than that in some books it has been ranged from 45 to 55 millimeters as well now the findings of intraoral examination showed that he had localized gingival hyperplasia over tooth number 42 and generalized tobacco staining over all of his teeth there was no any medical history uh, that was significant to mention other than that moving on to extra oral examination this is the front on vision this is the side on vision and this is the other side on vision if you focus on this clinical picture that is a front on vision of a patient you can uh, examine his cheek that his cheek are uh, sh uh, sinking in and uh, they are sinking in because of the uh, stiffening and fibrosis uh, of uh, inner buccal mucosa the moving on to the next uh, extra oral finding was that that he had limited mouth opening as you can see in these clinical pictures and we have measured the uh, limited mouth opening from stainless steel from the upper incisal edge to the lower incisal edge that was found to be 20 mm next intraoral findings firstly uh, we found that he had localized gingival hyperplasia as you can see in this clinical picture over tooth number 42 that is a right lateral lower central incisor uh, lateral incisor now, uh, other than that, he had generalized betel nut staining. This is because of dye in the betel nuts. Uh, and this dye is usually of dark brown color. The third interval finding was that uh, the patient had palpable bands of fibrosis on buccal mucosa and that were bilaterally present as you can see in these clinical pictures as you have, you can see the fibrosis the whitening of the buccal mucosa this appearance is known as marble appearance marble appearance is because of two reasons number one fibrosis number two loss of vascularity in the affected area because of which your mucosa appears whitish as you can see here as you can see here as you can see here in these clinical pictures so what happens is your uh, mucosa appears whitish and it very much resembles the marble so called marble appearance the fourth intraoral finding was that the disease had affected the hard and soft palate as well you can see the blanched hard and soft pellets 
Now, uh, the binding down of a tongue. It is because of involvement of lateral and posterior tongue at the patients of oral submucous fibrosis.